the question is if cross plus rho is equal to danger what is d a plus a plus n plus g plus e plus r this question has been asked in infosys this question has been asked in infosys so this can be classified as a crypto arithmetic problem or a verbal arithmetic problem or a analytical arithmetic problem but what it is write it vertically like this cross the way you usually do your math problem during a second standard or third standard cross plus danger plus roads is equal to danger d a n g e r now what happens is here i have got d this is a five digit number plus a five digit number i am getting a six digit number so here d is separate so what you understand is when we add two largest two digit numbers two largest two digit 99 plus 99 so 9 plus 9 is 8 this will become 9 one carried over so what are happens is when never add two digit numbers the maximum carry over can only be one the largest two digit numbers i am adding i am getting a three digit number the maximum carry over can only be one so what it implies is here i am only adding two numbers the maximum carry over can only be one so wherever i have got d it will be one D wherever I have it, it will be one. Now I already used one. I cannot use one again. So yes plus yes is R. So what it implies is price of S will be R. Price of S will be R. It can be anything. So normally what I do is I always start with the smallest number. So I will start with it can't be zero because S is zero. R will also become zero. Zero is ruled out. Then I go with two and two. When you go with two into R will be four. So if R is four here, R has to be four here. Now this two S will be here. This E will become three. So what has happened is I have used one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four have been used. One, two, three, and four have been used. So here A can't be one, two, three, or four. It can probably be zero because this has been used. It can probably zero. If this is going to be zero, I can use six here. C can be six, or this can be five. C can be six, or this can be five. In case I use zero here, in case I see, I am just presuming A to be zero because one, two, three, four is ruled out. Zero is not ruled out. So zero can come here. Zero can come here. If zero is coming here, a has to become zero here. A has to become zero here. If a is becoming zero, so what will happen is now I should not get any carry over. Six plus four, I just take it like this. I should not get any carry over. So a has to become zero. Bit. Then a is zero. There is no carry over here. O and G will have the same value. Because a is zero here. Supposing a is going to be zero here, o and a, o and g will have because this is zero here. O and g should be equal. O and g will not have the same value. Therefore, if c is going to be six, a is zero. Here it is ruled out. Therefore, c can't be six. C can't be six. It can't be five. Even if I'm going to get carry over the same problem will arise here. So it can't be five. Now what happens is one, two, three, four is ruled out. Zero. I can't get zero here. So a can become five. A is going to become five. I will not get a carry over here because this is a single digit number. Therefore, this two is ruled out. I cannot use two here. I cannot use two here. Then I'll check for the next number three. Then I'll check for the next number three. Six cross. Cross plus rows. Is dangerous. So after this, some sort of logic, this question becomes easier. Now this D, wherever I have got it one, because this is not going to be as I explained here. D is going to be one. Now two is ruled out. I'll check for three. So this is three and three. R will be six. So R is six here. If this is going to be three, E is going to be four. So the number that I already used are one is used, and then three is used, four is used. Six issues. These are the four numbers that are already been used. Now, 
even here I have explained zero is not possible because there is no carry over. A can't be zero because if A is going to be zero, O and G will have the same number because there is no carry over from here. So A can't be zero. A can't be one because one has already been in. A can take two. A can take two. If A is taking two, what will happen is A can take two because two is not here. A can take two. What will happen is now C has to be either five or six. C can't be six because R is six. If C is going to take five, if C is going to take five, what will happen? There will be a carry over here. There should be a carry over from R and O. There should be a carry over from R and O. Now because this is two here, A is two. What will happen is now R is six here. There has to be a carry over. So if there is going to be a carry over from here, O has to be at least three. Three is ruled out. So O four is ruled out. Five is ruled out. Six is ruled out. O can take only seven. At least seven. Now if O is going to take seven, because what happens is these numbers are ruled out. Because two is given, three, four, six, five is also given. O cannot take any of these numbers. It can't take zero because this is zero. This also will become zero unless I get a carry over from here. Now what will happen is. If O is going to take, presuming O is taking zero, I am going to get carry over. N can be seven. Supposing O is zero, just presuming O is zero, there is going to be carry over. O is zero. N will take seven because six plus one can be seven. Now I will definitely get a carry over because two is here. Either should this should be eight or nine. If eight is going to come here, this will be zero. Already zero is given. If nine is going to come here, one is going to be there. There already one is given. Therefore, a cannot be two. Therefore, a cannot be two. Now I'll check for another number. The three I have not exhausted fully because I only exhausted for two. Now cross plus road is dangerous. Now this is not going to change. R O B is not going to change. I can check for three and three. So this will be six. If this is going to be three, this being one, this will be four. So what are number that I already used? One, three, four, six has been used. I have told you A can't be zero. Now A can't be two. The other possibilities it can take five because this is six here. A can take five. If A is five, one possibility is I can get a carry over of. Nine plus six will be fifteen, or eight plus one carry over is possible. That are the two possibilities. Let us see what happens. Supposing because this is six here, this is six here. See, O can't take O can't take one, three, four, five. Also, is not possible. O can take two because two has not been given. The minimum value that O can take is two. Now, what happens is supposing I presume S S C S. Eight. I will have to get carry over from here. So this will be eight plus six plus one. Carry over has to definitely come here. I am presuming C as eight. Carry over has to definitely come from here. So if there is going to be carry over, what will happen is six is here. Now one three four six is ruled out. One three four six is ruled out. It can't be two because I will not get a carry over. It can't be two because I will not get a carry over. See one three six. Say so check about the number five is also used, eight is also used because five are given here, eight are given here. Now two is possible for O, six plus two, eight is not is not possible because I will definitely get a carry over. Therefore this can't be two. Three is gone, four is gone, five is gone. Now I can use seven here. Supposing you use seven here, what will happen is six plus seven is three or carry over. This will become four already given. Eight here. Supposing I take eight, six plus eight is four. Four is given. Carry over. Five will be gone there. So that is also gone. Nine will be either six or five. Both gone. Therefore, ah, uh, this uh, this cannot be. C cannot be eight. I am presuming this. C cannot be eight. So I am taking this as nine. I am taking this as nine. So five is gone. Nine is gone. Five is gone. Nine is gone. So one carry over should be there. One carry over should be there. Now what will happen is. The numbers that are remaining with me is two, uh, one zero, zero still there, two zero, uh, seven, and eight. Four numbers are still remaining. I uh, use six numbers. Four numbers, two zero seven eight is remaining. 
Now 9 plus 6, I don't require any carryover from here. I don't require any carryover from here. This is going to be 5. This is going to be 5. So what happens is, I can use, uh, I have to get 2. I can use 2 and 7 combination. 7 here, 2 is possible. Supposing it puts 7 here, this will be 2. I get a carryover, so 1 carryover now. 1 carryover. Now, because this is 7, R is already 6 here. So, this will become 7 plus 5 is 2, 1 carried over. So, what will happen is 1 plus 6, 7, 7 plus 7 will become 4, already 4 is used. Therefore, I cannot use uh, 5 is definitely fixed here. 5 is fixed. I cannot use 7 here. I cannot use 7 here. Because 6 is fixed. 6 is fixed. 5 is fixed. So, what happens is I can use 2 here, this will become 7. I can use 2 here, this will become 7. Supposing use 2 here, G will become 7. Now only 8 is remaining. O, ka, o, sub o is 2, so what will happen is 6 plus 2 is 8. So answer is 15874. The answer is 158746. So what is required is 1 plus 5 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 6. So this will be 10 plus 16, 16 plus 15 will be 31. The answer is 31. 158746. So I tried to do with 2, I didn't get it. I tried to do with 3. Here I used 2, I didn't get it. Then I checked for the other number possible, 5. I am able to get an answer. I eliminated the other number here. So the answer is 158746. You can probably try for 4, 5, 6 like that. Probably you will not be getting it. This is the only answer possible. I can agree that during examination time it might be difficult for you to solve questions like this. Because the links are not that easy here. The links are not that easy. Sometimes the links will be easy, you can do it faster. But understand doing it, the answers are simple. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions every now and then. Wish you all the best.